Hey, welcome back to the January House. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. It's Sunday. And just a reminder before we get started that Sunday night is auction night on my other channel, the January Auction House. I will put a link to that channel in the description of this video below. Go over there and check out the preview video and then come join us at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. All right, today's video is a what sold video, a few items that recently sold in my stores. So let's jump into it. All right, first up is this 1957 Atlantic City Steel Pier Program Guide. I got this in a ephemera lot at the live auction. Might have 50 cent cost into this, and I sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next is a glass plate photo negative. Uh, it's of a child on a tricycle. I got this also at the live auction, uh, just a bundle of glass plate photo negatives that I had. Uh, they're really cool. I'd never sold one before, so I wasn't sure how it would do. And pricing is all over the board. If you look on eBay for these, uh, obviously a lot of it depends on the subject matter and the condition that the glass plate negative is in. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. I probably have 75 cent cost into it. All right, next is a lot of Pennsylvania hunting and trapping uh, guidebooks from the 1960s. I got this at my buddy John's estate sale uh, in a big, big lot of hunting licenses and uh, regulation books. And I sometimes I bundle them, sometimes I sell them individually. Uh, my cost for this lot is probably a dollar and I sold it for $10 plus shipping. All right, next is an item that took a long time to sell. Uh, I got these New Kingston Fire Department items. Uh, New Kingston, Pennsylvania is not too far from here where I live. So there's a coffee mug and two pins that I believe go on like the lapels uh, for a, a dress jacket that the firefighters wear to special events. Uh, and I had it in my store for a long time. My cost is literally probably like a quarter on all these items. And it finally sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, next is a PlayStation 2 controller, uh, just the controller itself. It's the silver version, and these sell pretty well. This one sold for $24.95 with free shipping. All right, next up is a pair of New Balance sneakers. Uh, this is actually the second time I've sold these sneakers. I sold them once before, and the person returned them because they said they didn't fit. And I had the original box with it the first time, but when they sent them back to me, they didn't send them back in the original box. So I just have the sneakers, no box. And I sold them again. This time they went overseas. Uh, my cost was $4 on these. I got these at my buddy John's estate sale and I sold them for $24.49 plus shipping. All right, next up is that PlayStation 2 Slim console, the silver version as well. I didn't have any power cords for this, uh, so I couldn't test it. I sold it as console only for parts or repair. Uh, and this sold for $28.95 plus shipping. All right, next is a Game Boy game that I got at that yard sale that time for uh, $10. If you remember, I got the uh, black Game Boy uh, console and then a number of uh, video games to go with it for $10. I already made my money back and then some on that. So my cost on this is nothing and I sold it for $19.95 with free shipping. All right, next is a remote control. This is a Denon remote control. Uh, I usually pay about a dollar for my remotes and this one sold for $14 plus shipping. Next up, another Game Boy game. This is Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. Tested and works. This one sold for a lot more than the first one did and this sold for $32.95 with free shipping. And then one more Game Boy game. Again, my cost is zero on this. This is Donkey Kong. This sold for $19.99 with free shipping. And finally, my biggest sale I've ever had on eBay. This is an Innogen One G3 portable oxygen machine. I got this at my buddy John's estate sale. I paid up for it, $300 cost on this. And when I got it home, uh, I found out that it has a couple extra batteries. So normally it comes with two batteries, uh, but this one had two extra batteries. So four batteries total, uh, some tubing. Uh, you can see that the manuals were all there and the unit was hardly used. I checked the hours, it was 27 and a half hours used. And if you can imagine uh, needing a portable oxygen machine, you know, 27 hours total usage time is not very much for a, a machine like that. Uh, so I listed it on eBay. The comps were a little all over the place because uh, sometimes they don't have the extra batteries and there was no tubing in some of them. Uh, so I took a shot and I put it up for $1,999. And I had about five watchers on it right away. 
Uh, so the next day, the second day I had it listed, I sent out an offer for $1,950. And I had a lot of questions about how old the machine was and how many hours and things like that. Uh, but I had all that information and I finally sold it to somebody in Pennsylvania here, uh, which was good. So the shipping cost was less. It was still in its original box even. Uh, so that was good. I didn't have to find a special box for it, but it's not a big unit. It's, it's, uh, it was kind of small actually, more like the size of like a toaster oven. So I shipped it and uh, I learned a few things during shipping it. One is, uh, whenever you sell an item over $750 on eBay, they automatically require you to get a signature verification at delivery and you have to pay extra for that. Obviously, I would have done that anyway, but just to let you guys know, uh, you don't have a choice in the matter. You have to do it that way. Uh, I shipped at UPS uh, instead of the post office because I'd like it to actually get there on time and in one piece. Uh, so I wanted to buy insurance, but I also learned that through eBay, the highest amount of insurance that you can buy is $999 worth of insurance. Obviously I sold this item for double that. Uh, so I had a choice to make. I could contact UPS directly, like through their website and buy uh, shipping and the increased insurance amount. But then I would lose the discount that eBay gives me uh, on the shipping cost. So I decided at the end just to buy the shipping through eBay. Uh, and use the $999 insurance cost. But when I went to uh, UPS, I have these little uh, UPS shipping stores here. Uh, I asked uh, the lady at the counter if I could buy more insurance. She said I could, uh, but now that I already printed out the label and, and was ready to go, uh, I'd have to start all over again. And uh, if the insurance gets over $1,000, they have to send me to a UPS hub and for me, the UPS hub is like on the other side of Harrisburg. Uh, so I couldn't just take it to this little uh, UPS satellite store. Uh, I'd have to take it to the hub and fill out some paperwork there. So I'm kind of glad I didn't do it that way uh, in, a, in a sense. Uh, and it ended up getting there okay. Uh, but when it got there, the person had a lot of questions about uh, the battery lifetime. So this oxygen unit has five different uh, settings on it and it's all dependent on what your doctor says uh, the setting has to be for you to use. So depending on which setting you use determines how much battery life is there because if you use the higher setting, it's gonna drain the battery faster. The person had a lot of questions about battery life and I really thought they were gonna return it uh, initially, uh, but everything was good uh, in the end and I got positive feedback, so we're all straight. $1,950 sale, $300 cost. So I'm super excited for that. I doubt I'll ever find another one of these machines again. Uh, and I'm glad it sold and I'm glad it got good positive feedback. And I'm glad it's over with really because I was kind of nervous about it. But that was my biggest sale on eBay. What was your biggest sale on eBay? What was the item and what was the dollar amount if you don't mind telling us? Leave me a note in the comments. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.